Good evening, folks. We are going over this in a bit more detail. First, because it's one of the big updates that literally every observer is waiting for. And because for some reason, the morning news show with this yesterday got virtually no views. So here we are. The comparison of the Earth's magnetic field strength from 2014 to 2025. While the updates to the magnetic pole position are regular, updates on the strength of the field are not. They had been updating it fairly regularly until the data got scary. Earth lost about 10% of the magnetic field from the mid-1800s to the year 2000, but that number was revised up to 15% field loss in the year 2010 with the mission manager of the ESA Swarm saying Earth had gone from losing 5% of the field per century to 5% per decade, that we were on the verge of a magnetic pole shift and that the field had begun losing strength 10 times faster now. There are four main nodes of interest on Earth for tracking the magnetic pole strength, the North American lobe, the Siberian lobe, the South Atlantic anomaly, and the South magnetic pole. Every other place on Earth is just a bleed-out of those four regions, and tracking them specifically is what most modern studies like to laser in on. First, we'll do the two northern lobes, the North American and Siberian. Left side is 2014, right side is 2025, and on the right side of each image you can see the bright yellow of field strength actually gets a little bigger as we go from 2014 to 2025. This is the only place on Earth gaining field strength at this time, and it is also the smallest magnitude change. In North America, we see the opposite. The strong yellow field contour on the left side area disappears when you look at that area on the right image. It shows the loss of field protection over North America, and it is to a considerably higher degree than the strengthening of the Siberian lobe. I used two different AI-based color mapping and analysis methods, and they both ended up saying the same thing. The Siberian lobe increased field strength by about 2%, and the North American lobe lost about 5%. So, then we come to this view, and we can see about half of the South Atlantic anomaly up on top in dark blue, but the primary focal point here is the South Magnetic Pole, the brightest yellow. This one has changed the least over the 11-year period, but there was a slight contraction of the contour lines, showing that this region is losing about 1% over the period. Maybe less, but definitely a slight decrease in field strength. While the biggest change is the size and weakness of the South Atlantic anomaly, losing about 15% of its strength, if we're looking at the blue and purple contours, and you can see in this view how much the South Atlantic anomaly has expanded over these 11 years. And overall, we have an estimate of 8% field loss over these last 11 years, with the Americas taking the worst of it, losing about 12% of their field protection. So when we realize that as of 2010, we were losing 5% per decade, we can say that has accelerated a bit. We've lost 8% in the last 11 years, meaning that if we were down by 15% in 2010, we should be down by about 30% now. This comports with our estimation at the beginning of the year and follows the green or yellow curves downward to magnetic pole shift. Given this new relatively reliable estimate, we can say that those lines crashing out at the end of the 2040s appear to be supported by the data. We are still on track to have the magnetic pole shift in about 20 years, but remember, things get bad way before that. Be prepping now. Magnetic shift on deck in ours and our children's lifetimes. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.